What's going on everyone and welcome back. I hope everybody's having a good day. Folks, in the last video, we featured a Gigapan from Sol 3383. In this video, we're gonna look at a Gigapan from 3393. Now, some of you folks might have seen this anomaly or what looks like this rock outcropping on Facebook or somewhere else. Now, I'm gonna analyze this and I'm gonna show you some rather interesting things about this photo because we have these, what look like mountains in the background, but are those really mountains? I do a quick burn in some of these areas and you know, it just does not look natural. And there's another little area that's right next to this anomaly I'm gonna point out and you may agree, you may not. Let's just jump right into it. All right, you can see right here, MSL 3393. Again, the last one was 3383. All right, you can see right here, you can actually see the rover. Let's make this full screen. You can actually see the Curiosity rover right here, okay? So the anomalies we're looking at, like, like this large rock on the left and all of these right here, are literally right in front of the rover. They're not more than a few feet away, right? The one we're gonna look at is this piece right here. Now this has been all over Facebook. It's been on some other sites as well. Now to me, I don't believe that this is natural. Just look at some of the little parts on here, like this piece right here, okay? We can also see what looks like little details in the side of this weird shaped rock or part of the rock right there, right? We can see just some weird features. And here's the thing, folks, all the features are not pulled out of this. There's been some manipulation put over this. The other thing is too, all of these mountains in the background, you can see them here. When I get over here to the right, look at the way they have these lines, these just weird lines just kind of coming out, right? You can see what looks like a corner maybe right here of a structure. You can see a fine line coming down here. See that? And then it kind of stops right about here. I don't believe these are mountains, folks. And when I jump over to this side, let me show you this. I'm going to put this right in the middle of the screen. Do you see the shape right here? Fine lines right there, folks. Look at this, just a corner this right here. Looks like it's got kind of like this nice half round piece and then inner pot is doing the same thing. Okay. We have these lines right here going straight across. Looks like it may even come down a little bit. Yeah, so there's these two areas here with the lines. And we can bounce over here. It doesn't look like there's much there, but there is a couple pieces. I'm not so sure that these are mountains, okay? Here's some other weird feature. Look at the way this piece of uh, land comes out like this here. The shape of that, I'll put a right smack dab in the middle of the screen right there. You can see the nice little crisp edge. And you can see another line going down like this. See this? A lot of this stuff is being hidden in here. So let's just jump right into this thing, into Photoshop, and we'll check it out further. All right, here it is right here. Let's jump into this anomaly. Folks, if we were all in a large room and we put this up on a giant screen and we all looked at it, these are the parts I'd be pointing out first and foremost, like this here. This part coming down, going down like this. It has this weird feature of something inside here. And you'll see that a little bit better in a moment. We have this piece right here. You can see where it kind of comes down. It looks like it does this and goes like that. We've got this piece here. You can see like a little bit of a darker circle right there smack dab. See that? And some other areas right here. This kind of weird piece doing this. All these little pieces inside here. Now, at first glance, I'll be honest with you, it does. It looks like a bunch of stone and somehow it looks like, you know, it just may just be a bunch of outcropping of rocks, right? All right, so let's take away the crappy color. And let's do a full enhancement of this object. Okay. Notice how we have this piece coming out. And you probably didn't notice that first, right there, that area. Let's go back to the original without the crappy color. And you can still see that right here, folks. Coming down, looks like a darker area here, and one here as well, right? There you go. Look at all these other parts here. Wait, it looks like it's part of this. It's like this here is going like this. See that? This area right here. This other piece sticking out of the side. Just these weird pieces here on the edge. Folks, I'm not so sure, again, that this is natural or any of that sort. It just doesn't look that way. Now, let's black and white it. And you'll see it a little bit different because I do make it lighter under here 
and other spots. Now let's do the black and white. And if you notice right here, you'll see a difference. I actually bring out the lines. Look at the lines right here. There's one here, one here, one here, and another faint one right there. Watch this. And go back to black and white. I'm just bringing them back out, folks. You can see them right there. See that? We have this other object right here, really kind of weird, right there. See that? We'll zoom into that a little bit. Here you can see what it looks like it's doing this, going across, down. You can see this thing has a link to it, and it looks like something here is half round inside that, right? Okay, black and white, check that out. Looks like something's laying there. And we have what looks like a half round piece inside that. See that? Hmm. Pretty interesting. I'll put this in the middle of the screen. Stop right here, folks. Have a look at this with your magnifier. Again, it's just some features about this rock or rocks that look like it's either A, encrusted, or B, it's been manipulated to look like a rock. Because they do have rock mimicking software to just go rid of this whole object. But it has certain 90 degree angles, certain pieces sticking out that you probably wouldn't see in a rock. And I don't mean just one straight edge or one 90 degree angle. I'm talking about many different shapes and sizes of these things and different things that look like it can only be intelligently made on this thing, right? And again, here's the uh, black and white. Have a look at that as well. Pause it right there. All right, let's bounce over to the back of the photo where the mountains are and have a look at that. This one won't be very long, folks. And you'll get the link to this so you can really eyeball this really, really well. Now, again, this area right here, you can see what looks like something right here. Very faintly going like this. Inside is doing the same. And you can see it going like this. Coming down. Just a little faint part of it. To the left of that, you can see what looks like this almost straight edge, perfectly straight edge going down like this. Something's doing this. It almost appears to go down, but you really can't see it by looking at it that way, right? You have something right here. You can see a straight line coming down like this here, going just like that. And you can see what looks like little pieces, like one here, one here, very faint here, like a circle here. You'll see that a little bit better in a moment. And you have some other pieces down here, and you'll see that in a minute, okay? Let's just back out, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, here are those pieces now, like this here, and check this out. What are we seeing here, folks? And this is just by slightly burning, folks. This is not putting these in. These are just burning over these areas. And again, I can show you that right there. Look at this carefully. And I'm going to go back and forth. So that tells me these are not mountains here. You can see the white piece is just popping out here a little bit, right here. Something way down here. You just get these little bits and pieces of the white that's actually popping out of this. This area over here, check this out. Showed you that earlier, kind of weird little features just coming out of these hillsides. And clearly, this is not a hillside. Let me show you one last thing I think you'll like. If you were to look at this, and I'm going to just do the original, take the color off. Folks, if I was to back out of this, just the way it looks, just like this, and you've seen the rover where it's at, right? You can see here, and I'll go to, to the original pan in a moment, this whole area is concaved in here. You can see that. Like there was a blast right there, like a bomb hit there. Let me show you the gigapan one more time. And check this out, folks. Let it adjust. Check that out. There it looks like there was a bomb that actually hit the spot, and this is what you're seeing. All of this junk just thrown around. And in the back, if you look at carefully, in fact, you can see right here in the middle of this, you can actually see what looks like some parts of structure. See the lighter colors? Look at the shape of it right there. See the lines right there? Look at the 
light tan or light peachy color kind of thing going on. See that? Folks, I promise you these are not mountains. In fact, without a doubt in my mind, that these are all structures here. You can see just by the lines down here, and what I showed you in the photo, this area down here, just burning a couple of the areas, clearly this is not natural. Now, I'm not saying there's nothing here natural. I'm saying that this looked like it took a bomb hit right here, and it literally exploded all kinds of stuff around it. Notice how we have this line right across here in the middle of the screen, and then on the very right-hand side, you get this other faint line, like there was something laying right here, and it was blown to pieces, or it was near these structures in the back. See that? Check that out. It looked like a bomb hit right there. That's what it looks like to me. And of course, I'll leave that up to you folks to tell me what you think is going on. Right there. Color. Now pause it right there and have a look. Black and white. Have a look. And then we'll look back here at the mountain real quick. And we have these other features in this hillside. Folks, again, I don't believe this is a hillside. But there you go, right there. Folks, the first time I saw that anomaly, I went, that does not look natural. Just the way it looks and some of the weird little features without doing anything to it. It just doesn't look right. It looked like something A, encrusted, or B, has been manipulated to look like a giant rock. And I don't believe that it is. That's just my opinion. Of course, I want to hear your opinion as well. We have things off in the background, and all I do is just burn a couple areas that I can see outlines, faint outlines of objects inside this mountainous area. And clearly, I don't think they're mountains. At the very end, I showed you what looked like lighter peach color type thing in the back, and you can see shapes of things in the back. I believe those are all structures right there. Pull back, it looks like there was a bomb hit right there. Even if it was small, it's still there regardless. And it looks like we had stuff just kind of eject all over the place. And we don't know if that was bombed next to these structures. Again, I'll leave that up to you folks to tell me what you think. As always, folks, you know the drill. Drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Please like and share. Always appreciate it. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube shares it. Folks, more good stuff coming up, so stay tuned for that. And as always, thanks for watching. It is appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.